Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic and today we've got some pretty awesome news if these rumors are indeed to be true. So I just want to start off by saying these are just rumors at this point, but I will say that it seems to be pretty reliable. It seems to be coming from a pretty reliable source. So this is not the extremely reliable source. This is Dork Side of the Forest, which I've had issues with in the past, but they seem to be pretty straightforward on this article, not trying to add too many things to it, not trying to spin it too much one way or the other, but I think it's still important nonetheless. So Let's start off with what it says. Star Wars rumors. Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy stepping down this fall. All right. So where are they getting this from? So it says Star Wars rumors surface the uh, surface that Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy may step down at the end of 2018. Is there any validity to these rumors? If so, should she step down? Well, I think that is pretty clear. She should step down. I mean, people will point to the fact that, oh, but wait a minute. Look at how much money Star Wars has made over the past several months. Okay. Well, look, we go back to each movie individually. So Force Awakens made $2 billion overall. Very, very successful project. We then go to Rogue One, made a billion dollars worldwide. Okay, for a for a uh, sing for a one shot film, that is pretty good. It's a billion less than The Force Awakens, but it's still pretty good. Well, what about Last Jedi? 1.3 billion. Now on the surface, you would say, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, but that's $700 million less than the previous outing. So yeah, you can say that it still made money, but when you look at the amount of money that it made in the first two weeks, and the amount of money that it lost after that, it's really staggering. And also, you can definitely now at this point, since Solo, which is the next film after that, which came out six months after, is going to lose at least $180 million, that The Last Jedi truly was a disgrace. That The Last Jedi truly led to this downfall of the Star Wars universe. Because, again, yes, overall it made $1.3 billion, but that's because it made over half of that. It made roughly 60, 68 to 60, uh, 68 to 70% of its total box office gross in the first two weeks alone, which means that it had to make up that 30% left over several months. So the fact that in two weeks it made more than what it made over several months, that tells you, again, how this film just had such a toxic reaction to it. And so to say that it's a success, especially now with Solo losing at least $180 million, I would say it's going to be over $200 million, especially now that we have some numbers coming out about what the actual production budget was before and after. And, you know, they're not they're never going to officially release those numbers, but we have a pretty good idea that they spent at least $500 million on all of the production, all of the marketing, etc., and it's not going to nearly make that up when you take into the count. It only makes 60% of the box office, which, again, I've spent a lot of time talking about that before. So if you want to get more into the nitty-gritty and more into the numbers, please check out my previous video where I talk about that. But anyway, back to the article. The Star Wars fandom is still recovering from backlash caused by Star Wars Last Jedi. Absolutely. Which echoed a significant tremor in the Force. Ryan Johnson is taking a portion of the heat for ruining the childhood of many Star Wars fans across the galaxy. And again, a lot of people have been speaking about this. A lot of people have been very outspoken about this, in fact. And it's very clear that even, you know, no matter where you fall on... The Last Jedi, no matter where you think or feel about the film overall, you cannot deny that a large portion of the fan base did not like it or had a negative reaction to it. I mean, you, you just can't deny it. Just look at the numbers for Solo. Look at um, the amount of the huge drop from the first and second weekend of The Last Jedi, and you cannot deny that there was a large portion of the fan base. And also, just look at all the online communities that have grown tremendously. I mean, you have groups like uh, Geeks and Gamers, which now have like over 55,000 subscribers. You have so many other groups like that that have thousands and thousands of people who are just so fed up with it. So you cannot tell me that it's a small number of people who were, who were ticked off about this film. All right. However... Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy isn't without blame. In fact, many Star Wars fans are asking for a resignation after Solo. A Star Wars story, poor performance at the box office. Absolutely. Again, you're losing $200 million. And it's all because of the decision that you made to fire Lord and Miller and to reshoot everything with <laughs> Ron Howard. So I just, I'm sorry, that is one of the worst financial decisions ever made. They still also double down with the marketing, putting so much money into it, and yet it's going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. So that that is absolutely awful altogether. There we have a happy birthday tweet. But here's where we actually get to the meat of the article. So this is the actual site that is breaking that Kathleen Kennedy is likely going to be stepping down in the fall. So it says here, according to Angler, a Hollywood Insider newsletter, her run as Lucasfilm president may be over sooner than later. It says there, while Kathleen Kennedy worked wonders relaunching this property from the abyss of the Lucasfilm prequel trilogy and turning it into a bigger than ever all-devouring cultural force. Okay, you cannot say that she did that. Okay, you had so many people working behind the scenes that did that. And also, it was the Star Wars fan base turning out for that movie that made it as great as it was. So the reason why it made $2 billion was not because of Kathleen Kennedy. The reason why it made $2 billion is because it was not a terrible film. Again, in retrospect, because of The Last Jedi, it, it doesn't hold up. But at the time, you know, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a good film because it was essentially a rehash of A New Hope. It was essentially a rehash of a previous property. And, of course, they had to play it safe. But even playing it safe, it made $2 billion. And so... 
we can look at that and we can say, okay, yeah, it did well. But to say that she single-handedly turned things around, you can't, you cannot say that. I'm sorry. There were so many other factors that led to that happening that you cannot possibly make that argument. So anyway, the talk out there is of a September changing of the guards. So we'll see. And then this is where I, the reason why I chose the dork side of the force article was because it had this information in it, which I think is still relevant. So, well, how reliable is this information? Well, so far it, you know, it talked about four different rumors that all turned out to be true. So Sue Kroll stepping down as head of uh, WB's uh, worldwide marketing, Stacey Snyder's interest in joining the Amazon brand, anticipating the internal management problems of the changes at Sony, and Glenn Mazzara taking over as Dark Tower's primary showrunner. So it has a history. It does have a, uh, a reliable history. Now, again, that doesn't mean that this is going to be 100% accurate, but based on the fact that this site is now reporting on it and they've reported correctly on rumors before, and also the fact that this movie is going to lead, this is going to lose $200 million and that the fan base is so angry and is so frustrated over what's been going on with Star Wars, you cannot deny that this is likely going to happen. If she doesn't step down, if she isn't fired, she's going to be shuffled around somewhere so to another location, to another part of the Disney universe, but it's definitely not going to be near Star Wars, and it's definitely not going to be a position where she's going to be able to make decisions for sure. Now, whether or not she's filled with somebody, whether or not her position is filled with someone who actually knows Star Wars, who loves Star Wars, who's going to give us really good Star Wars films, we don't know. I mean, we could get someone worse than, worse than Kathleen Kennedy. We could get someone better than Kathleen Kennedy. You know, I, I'm, I try to err more on the hopeful side of things, but what we can know from this you know, from these rumors and from everything going on with Solo is that there's definitely going to be some kind of change. And if it's going to be anywhere, it should be with Kathleen Kennedy, who greenlit this multi-hundred million dollar uh, loss of the Solo franchise, of, of the Solo film, and essentially of the Star Wars franchise itself. And so it says, so there is some validity to these claims, but what reason would Kathleen Kennedy have for stepping down as head honcho at Lucasfilm, most recently known for the involvement in leaving the Star Wars franchise? Well, for one, she probably wouldn't be the one stepping down. She probably be the, She would probably be fired, and they would probably play it off officer stepping down because again when you lose a company hundreds of millions of dollars they don't just say oh that was you know whatever we'll, 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 we'll look at the previous work that you've done and just leave it at that no they're gonna say you lost us hundreds of millions of, do hundreds of millions of dollars you've lost us so much good grace with the fan base with a decent portion now that they've seen with the numbers of solo a decent portion of the fan base that might not show up especially if they continue on will not show up for the next episode for episode nine and we cannot afford that because if episode nine is a bomb, if episode nine only breaks even, then we know that there's a huge problem going on and we want to avoid that altogether. Again, Disney as a huge corporation is not stupid. They're not going to make decisions that are going to willingly lose them money. Again, they took a gamble with this. They allowed it to happen, but I guarantee you they're not going to keep allowing it to happen. So I'm going to be very interested to see again. Now there's, there's uh, people saying that her, her retire, she's going to retire because she's tired of it. Again, all this stuff could possibly happen. So this is where that, you know, dork side kind of goes off on it, on his tangents saying that, you know, oh, you know, the boycotters will take credit for it. Well, absolutely. Because we were a huge part of the fact that this film failed. We were a huge part of the fact that this film is going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, Kathleen Kennedy, I would say, is more responsible for that than anything else because of the decisions that she made, but still something to consider nonetheless. And then we see, oh, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, wait, never mind. So, yeah, I said that before. Again, okay, this is the first time that I'm actually reading the whole article. I said the dork side of the fo <laughs> force was not putting in its, its normal crap, but oh, look at... Oh. <sighs> Oh, look what we have here. Congratulations on accomplishing nothing, you toxic losers. You already demoralized one woman in Kelly Marie Tran, so stop while you're behind. Okay. Well, okay. Well, for one, we, we really don't have any hardcore evidence of that. Of For one, Kelly Marie Tran has not come out publicly to say anything about why she got off social media, why she got off Instagram specifically, so we honestly don't know. But as I said in the previous video, we all, for the most part, because again, of course there's going to be trolls, of course there's going to be a small minority of people who are just discussing human beings, but for the most part, we are all in support of Kelly Marie Tran, and we all just totally go against anyone that did personal attacks on her of any kind. Again, criticizing a character is one thing, criticizing the person is another. Again, we know what happened to previous people in the prequels, we know how we can, how fans can destroy a person's life by their comments, by their hateful, um, hateful thoughts, but that is not what happened here with Kelly Marie Tran, because for the most part, the fan base that you are now saying congratulations to, the boycotters, we are not a part of this group that went after Kelly Marie Tran. I can tell you that for a fact, because all of us have stood up almost immediately as soon as the article started to come out, all of us stood up immediately and said, we do not support any anger, frustration whatsoever towards an actual person, towards an actual human being. Okay, towards a character is one thing, but to attack a person personally is just is 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 just ridiculous, and none of us support that whatsoever. So, uh, thank you, Dorkside of the Force, for for reminding me why you are such a terrible website and why you are just so. Oh uh, my goodness! Well, that just yeah. I thought that you had um I thought you had redeemed yourself a little bit, but um no, I guess I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, right there. In case you couldn't see it, yeah. Congrats on accomplishing nothing. Well, uh, if we uh, accomplish the fact that Kathleen Kennedy will likely be stepping down, which is what this whole article was supposed to be about, well, then, yeah, we, we will absolutely take credit for that or at least partial credit for that because, um, yeah, 
because we, we had a voice and our voice has been heard. And we know that Disney, again, will hear us because they do not want to lose money. And they know that if they continue in this path, they will continue to lose money because we are not going to show up for those films. We are not going to buy the Blu-rays. We are not going to see the film multiple times. We're not going to buy the merchandise. And they hear with uh, <laughs> with money and how much money they're actually making. So anyway, uh, all right, guys. So what do you think about this? Do you think that she's going to step down? Do you think this is all just rumors? Do you think Neil Harrington here is just trying to troll a bunch of people, uh, especially with that last line at the end? Uh pretty much seeming to do so, uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, and also, uh, please let me know also if there's anything that you would like to hear from me on this channel, if there's anything that you, uh, any suggestions, any criticism, any any constructive criticism, I would love to hear that as well, and I know that I am definitely still in the early stages of this, and I know that there's so much more I can do, there's so much, uh, there's uh, so much growth that I can, I can take part in as well, so any constructive criticism, I would love to hear, and uh, please always in the comments, be respectful of one another, be respectful of me, I will be respectful of you, and again, because if we cannot talk to each other civilly about movies, if we cannot talk civilly to each other about small things in the grand scheme of things, then how in the hell can we possibly talk about the larger issues in a civil way? And how can we possibly <laughs> live in a world together and create a you know peaceful and just society? Again, as I've said this several times before, I am a theology teacher, and so I do take that very seriously. And I know that I might be you know looking at the world in, in a way that most people don't. I know that I might have too high expectations for the world, but I, I do know that we have the capacity to be just, to be good, to be. Uh, to be respectful to one another, and uh, that's all that I really hope for. So uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching, and hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw. Hit that like button if you like what you saw. Please share it with your friends as well, and as always, have a great day, and God bless.